This session is all about programming the programmable keys down here. So what we need to do is to press this blue key here, which will bring up a menu on the screen. And what I'm looking for is the one that says settings. So it's settings, press that key there, which takes you to another screen that gives us programmable keys. So programmable keys. And then the screen up here is saying select a key to program or edit. So I'm going to select the top key here next to the black line. And it then says to me, what do I want to be on this key? There are several options, but I'm going to start off by just programming a speed call. So that's the first one, a speed call. So this is any number that you frequently dial that you need to have on the front of your screen just to press the button. The first thing you need to do is to edit a label. The label is what you will see on your screen and will show you which button to press. So I'm going to press Edit Label. You can then use this keypad to put the, number, the letters in. Can I say that if you start off by pressing any of these keys, what you'll get first of all is the lower case, but if you keep going, you will get to upper case. So if I wanted to do um, a name like Sarah, press the seven key eight times will give you a capital S. So we now have a capital S. Then I can press the two for A, the seven again for R. A and H. So there's the label. My label is Sarah. This is the person I want to put on there first of all. I then have to save it. The thing to do now is to edit the number. Please don't start putting the number in without pressing the edit number key first. So press edit number. And remember, that if this is an outside number, you must dial your access code. In most cases, this is 9. Uh, but in some cases it's something else. So I'm just going to press 9 and then start putting in the whole number that I want to be in there. You can see on the screen what's coming up, so you can check. If you make a mistake, then press the backspace key to go back to correct it. When you've got this in correctly, press the save key. You can then check on the screen, so it's now showing you the label is Sarah and the number. If you're happy with this, you can then save it one more time. And that's it, your first key programmed up. Now, the other key to remember here is that you must close this screen down. So if you press the close key once, and you'll need to do it one more time to come out of the menu, you are then back at your main screen, and you can press that button to dial Sarah. So that's how to do a frequently dialed number. The other things that you can program on here are to do with things like the headset. We have a headset key, but one of the other keys that you might find useful is a super key. The super key gives you extra menu functions that I will refer to in another session. So what I'm going to do is to set up a super key. Same process, start with the blue key. Go to settings, then programmable keys. We're then going to press the next free available key and this menu comes up. All the options that you've got to program onto a key. Now I'm looking for super key. I'm going to use the keys here to go through. So if I press this key here, it takes me to the second page of the menu. And again, the third page of the menu. So keep going through, because we've got 46 items until you find the key that you require. So I'm finding super key here. I'm going to press that there. Now with the super key, you don't need to edit a label because it already has its label there. So once you've found it, you can just press save, and it's programmed it on. 
Once again, don't forget to close and close the menu down to come back to your screen and there is the super key already to use.